This is video of Euron van der Sloot's arrival with federal agents this afternoon in Birmingham. The plane departed Peru just before 8 o'clock and touched down at Birmingham International Airport just after 2. He's now being held at the Hoover City Jail until his initial court hearing tomorrow. Cynthia Gould is at the federal courthouse in downtown Birmingham with what we can expect. Cynthia. Brenda, that first initial hearing is set for 11 a.m. tomorrow morning here at the federal courthouse in Birmingham. Vandersloat was originally indicted back in 2010 on these extortion and wire fraud charges. So this has certainly been a long time coming for friends and family. He has always been the chief suspect in Natalie Holloway's disappearance. But these charges relate to a plot to allegedly extort $250,000 from Beth Holloway, the mother. According to court documents, Vandersloot claimed he would tell Holloway where to find her daughter's remains in Aruba. Beth initially wired $25,000, but the information Vandersloot gave about Natalie being buried under her house, well, that was not true. Meanwhile, the attorney for Natalie's father says it's been a day of very high emotions. He's doing as, as well as could be expected. He, uh, he, like a lot of other people, including uh, Beth Holloway, are anxious to see this person actually in the Northern District of Alabama and being held accountable. Now, Beth Holloway said in a statement today, quote, as Jorn Vandersloat's extradition to the United States is finally realized, I am overcome with mixed emotions. As a mother who has tirelessly pursued justice for the abduction and murder of my precious daughter, I stand before you today with a heart both heavy with sorrow and yet lifted by a glimmer of hope. Now, there's no telling how long this court process could take perhaps years, and there's no word yet where your inventor Sloat will be held. Right now, though, we do know he is in the Hoover City Jail. Live in Birmingham, Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340 News.